Metals. Arsenic is a metal that's associated with many forms of skin, lung, bladder, kidney, and liver cancers, particularly when high levels are consumed in drinking water. It is a lung cancer hazard in occupational exposure when inhaled, especially in the mining and copper smelting industries. Arsenic is also used in the production of wood preservatives, glass, herbicides, insecticides, especially ant killers, and pesticides, and it is a general environmental contaminant of air, food, and water. Beryllium compounds are known to cause lung cancer. Workers who may be exposed to beryllium include those in the aerospace and defense industries, been making electrical components, jewelry, ceramic, glass, plastics, fiber optics, and cellular network communication systems products. It is also used in dental applications and in golf clubs. Other workers are exposed through the recycling of computers, cell phones, and other high-tech products. Outside of these industries, Beryllium exposure occurs primarily from burning coal and fuel oil. The general population can be exposed to trace amounts of beryllium by inhaling air and consuming food contaminated with beryllium residues. Workers exposed to cadmium metal and cadmium compounds are known to have an increased risk of lung cancer. Workers with the highest exposures are those involved in removing zinc and lead from minerals, producing cadmium powders, welding cadmium coated steel, or using solders containing cadmium. Cadmium is primarily used to coat metals to prevent corrosion. Other uses are in plastic and synthetic products, in batteries, as stabilizers for polyvinyl chloride, and in fungicides. The industrial process involved in making these products release cadmium into the air, surface water, groundwater, and topsoil, where it can be taken up by both land and water plants and in turn transferred to animals. Food is the main source of human exposure to cadmium for non-smokers. Contaminated topsoil that allows uptake into tobacco plants may be indirectly responsible for the greatest non-occupational human exposure to cadmium which is smoking. Some chromium compounds are known to cause lung cancer. The steel industry is the major user of chromium. It is used to prevent corrosion of metal accessories, including automotive parts, as well as for electroplating and layering one metal over another. Chromium is also used in pigments in floor coverings, some papers, cement, asphalt roofing, some research applications, the textile and leather tanning industry, and for creating an emerald color in colored glass. Chromium is widely distributed in the air, water, soil, and food, and everyone is exposed to some of these compounds. The highest exposure occurs in occupations related to stainless steel production, welding, chrome plating, and leather tanning. Lead acetate and lead phosphate are suspected to be human carcinogens based on the evidence of kidney and brain tumors in research studies. Lead acetate is used in cotton dyes as a coating for metals, as a dryer in paints, varnishes, and pigment inks, as a colorant in certain permanent hair dyes, in explosives, and in washes to treat poison ivy. Lead phosphate is used as a stabilizer in certain plastics and specialty glass. Primary exposures are through skin contact, eating, and inhaling. Workers are exposed in construction that involves welding, cutting, brazing, or blasting on lead paint surfaces. Most smelter workers, including lead smelters where lead is recovered from batteries, and in radiator repair shops. Nickel and nickel compounds are associated with several kinds of cancers. Studies have linked nickel exposure to cancers of the nasal cavity, lung, and the larynx or voice box. Nickel is used in steel, dental fillings, copper and brass, magnets, storage batteries, and glazes. Because nickel is present in the air, water, soil, food, and consumer products, we are exposed through eating, breathing, and skin contact. Workers more likely exposed to nickel include battery makers, ceramic makers, electroplaters, enamelers, glass workers, jewelers, metal workers, nickel mine workers, refiners and smelters, paint related workers, and welders.